Today I want to show you how to pair your Android or your iOS mobile device to a Google Home via Bluetooth. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Now today's video is going to focus on pairing a mobile device to the Google Home. In another video, I will share how to pair the Google Home to another Bluetooth speaker. So a few reasons why you want to pair the Bluetooth to your Google Home is maybe the app that you are using, maybe it's music or Audible for audiobooks, it does not have a cast function to send the audio to the Google Home. Well, with Bluetooth, anything that your phone plays will sound on the Google Home. So it makes it really simple and it's super easy to pair and unpair. And so today I'm gonna to show you the multiple ways to do that. One is through the mobile device. That's how we'll get started first. And then next is just by voice. So we'll do that second. So first let's head into the Google Home application. Now in the app, we just need to go to the devices tab up here in the top right hand corner. And then we need to go to the Google Home that we want to pair. So today we are going to pair the Max. So I just need to select the menu and then the settings. And then right here you see the option of paired Bluetooth devices. So if I open that up, here you can see that there are currently no Bluetooth devices paired to Max. So now all I need to do is enable the pairing mode on the Max by select enable pairing mode. And now the Google Home is waiting for a, another Bluetooth connection. So now on my phone, I am going to go into the Bluetooth settings. And then here you can see that the Max shows up as a device to be paired. So I just select that, it will then pair together. And here it's asking me to confirm that request. And there you have the notification that it is paired. So now anything that my phone hears or anything I play will play out of the Max and I can control the volume all over here. So let's go to a few different applications. So here is an application that does not support casting. So when I select play, it should play right through the Google Home Max. So just like that, I do have the volume controls right here on my phone and you can see that it is playing and changing the volume on the Max. Or I can use voice controls to change the audio on the Max. Also, you'll see on your phone that it's actually changing the volume when you change it on the Max. Now, if I use a command to pause or play the music, that will actually pause the song on the phone or I can skip to the next song. So now let's try another application. So here I can go into Audible, going to continue where I left off in my book. You've forgotten. And here I can change the volume. And if I tap on the Google Home, that will pause and play it as well. So now I can use my voice to pause and skip to the next track or um, chapter that I'm in. Now when you are done using the Google Home as your speaker and you want to disconnect, there's a couple ways to do that. One is you could go into the Bluetooth settings of your phone and turn off Bluetooth, but most of the time I don't wanna do that. So the easiest way is you just need to activate your Google Home and ask it to disconnect or disconnect Bluetooth and then it will disconnect the devices. Hey Google. Disconnect Bluetooth. Okay, Bluetooth is disconnected. All right, so now whenever I play audio on my phone, it will just play out of the phone and it won't play out of the speaker anymore. Now, since the phone and the Google Home are still paired together, if I want to reconnect to the Google Home, all I need to do is activate it and ask to connect or connect Bluetooth. Hey Google. Connect. All right, looking for paired devices. Bluetooth is connected to Galaxy S9. So there it turned back on its Bluetooth connection and it immediately paired to my Bluetooth device. And now I can play my audio right, right back so to the Google light. Home. So in today's video, I am using the Google Home Max, but this will work with all the other Google Home devices, the regular Google Home, as well as the Google Home Mini. All right, so now let's say I want to add a second device and pair it to the Google Home, but this time we're going to do it by voice. So all I need to do is say, hey Google, enable pairing mode. All right, to connect, open Bluetooth settings and look for the device called Max. So now on my new phone, I just need to go into the Bluetooth settings, select Max, and then instantly there I heard the connection sound and now it is connected to the new device. So if I go in here and I play music or a video, in today's video, I'm gonna show it you will how play to out of Android there. Phone. Hey Google, mirror your screen. Next. So there, even when watching a YouTube video, I was able to skip to the next video or I could pause and play it all by voice. 
Now, if you have connected multiple Bluetooth devices and you're not sure which one is currently paired, all you need to do is activate the Google Home and ask if it is paired or what it is paired to. Hey Google, is Bluetooth active? Bluetooth is connected to Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So now if I wanna disconnect it from this phone, I just need to do the same command and disconnect the Bluetooth. But one thing to note is it will always connect to the most recent device that had been connected. So since this phone is the most recent one that I paired to the Google Home Max, it will always default to this device. If I want to change that and I wanna set this one as the new default device, I would need to unpair all of the devices and then I could begin again. So to do that, go into the Google Home application on your phone and now you will see that we have these two different devices connected in the Bluetooth settings. So then I could just select the X to close out on both of them and then you would start over and repair the first device. Now you can also unpair all the devices via voice through the Google Home. So all you need to do is say, hey Google, unpair all Bluetooth devices. You wanna clear your list of paired Bluetooth devices, right? Yes. All right, cleared. Okay, so now it has wiped out all of the connected Bluetooth devices, unpaired them all. So now I would need to go back in and reset them up just like I did in the beginning. So that is how you pair your mobile device to your Google Home via Bluetooth. And that will work on Android phones as well as iOS devices. If you guys have any further questions about how this works, let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to see more videos all about what your Google Home can do, make sure you select the playlist over here on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you on the next one.